Hi everybody, my name is Holly Abeels and I'm a Florida Sea Grant Extension Agent with the University of Florida IFAS Extension Office and today I'm going to be showing you a recipe using canned sardines. Canned sardines you can buy in the grocery store and I know it might seem weird to be cooking with sardines um, but this is a really easy recipe um, and sardines are a great um, seafood to use because they are high in omega-3 fatty acids. So this recipe uses canned sardines, avocado, and toast um, with a couple other ingredients. So you're going to need um, two tins of sardines and olive oil, some um, dried parsley or fresh parsley if you have that on hand. Um, the recipe calls for sherry vinegar. Since I don't have that right now, I'm just going to use um, this um, vinegar that I have on hand. You'll need a lemon um, and an avocado. They also will need some black pepper and some sea salt. So to start, we're going to open our containers of sardines. I already cut these open before, so I'll be ready. And you're going to open the container a little bit. Be careful and just pour the oil into one container. Just put that aside for one minute. And with the second set of sardine cans, you're going to do the same thing, uh, but this time you're going to put it into a second bowl and you're just going to set that aside for right now. Again, be careful. We're going to be using the oil um, from this tin a little bit later with our toast. So I'm just going to set that aside over here. All right, so in this bowl um, with the oil from the sardines, I'm going to put um, one tablespoon of parsley, and I'm the type of person likes to measure things out when I cook and bake, so I'm measuring this out with one tablespoon. I'm going to do um, one tablespoon of vinegar. And again, any type of vinegar that you have on hand, I just happen to have um, this um, white balsamic vinegar in my pantry. You're going to take your lemon and you're going to um, use the lemon zest. So I have a zester right here. I'm just going to put some lemon zest into this and as much as you want that you want to use. I like a lot of lemons, so I'm going to do maybe a little bit more for taste. And hold on to this lemon because we're going to be using it later um, in the recipe. So just put that aside. And if you want to scrape out some of the lemon zest from your zester. And then just some black pepper. So you're going to whisk that together. Get it all nice and mixed. And then you're going to pour your sardines from both cans um, into this. Let me get a fork for that. Into this bowl. A little bit of oil left in there. And then this can as well. Again, like I said, sardines are high in omega-3 fatty acids. So those are the good um, fatty acids that you want. Um, and you can buy a can of sardines at the grocery store. Again, I'm using sardines that um, are in olive oil, but you can get sardines that are just in um, a little bit of sea salt. So, but this recipe calls for using the oil. So I'm just gonna mix that all up to marinate the sardines. Perfect. And I'm just going to set this aside for right now. We're going to come back to it in a minute. Sardines also, because they keep for such a very long time, um, you can keep them in your pantry for a while. So this is a good recipe that you could use, um, say, um, 
during if there's a hurricane um, or some other power outage in your home and you don't have the use of your um, stove or microwave or anything like that. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is to um, get our toast ready. So I'm actually gonna turn my oven um, on to broil. I already put a rack at the very top of my oven. So you wanna put the top rack at the top, um, put your oven on broil. And I'm gonna take four slices of toast. And I just have um, some sourdough bread here that I got. I'm gonna lay them out. Onto my pan here. Put this off on the side. And I'm gonna take the oil that we had earlier um, from the one of the tin cans of sardines and I'm gonna use that oil to brush it on top of um, the toast. So you wanna put the toast on a cooling rack that's over a sheet pan, so that way any of the oil can just drip through um, the cooling back onto the pan. So I'm just gonna brush this on the top, and this is just gonna kind of help um, with the browning of the toast when it's under the broiler. Make it very nice and crispy and yummy. Sort of like if you're adding, you know, butter or other, some other type of oil. And I'm gonna try to use all of this since I have some bigger pieces of toast. Perfect. So now you wanna put um, this in your oven under the broiler. Um, depending on how hot your oven is or what your oven um, likes to do. Um, you want to keep it in for maybe two or three minutes and um, if you're not sure how crispy they're getting or how crusty they're getting you can check on them after maybe 30 seconds to a minute. So I'm gonna put these in the oven. The top rack. So they can get all crispy and while that's happening I'm going to grab my avocado. Um, and I forgot to wash this before starting, so I'm just gonna quickly wash this underneath the sink. So it is always a good idea to wash the outside of any fruits or vegetables before cutting into them. And I'm gonna cut this avocado in half as best I can. And this is a little, take the pit out. So this is a kind of a smaller avocado. So I do have another one in reserve. So I'm gonna open that one too, to put in this recipe. Again, washing it. And cutting it open. Be careful when using your knife and then just taking the pit out and you're going to mash these um, with a fork just to get the avocado all nice and soft on the inside because we're going to be taking it out and putting it on to our toast once the toast is ready. So again, I'm using canned sardines for this recipe. Um, I never was a huge fan of sardines, um, but I saw this recipe and I tried it and I really did like the taste. Um, and it is something that's really simple to do. And it's very healthy for you, especially with the avocado and the sardines with the high omega fatty acids. All right, so I mashed those together. So I'm gonna check on my toast. They sound very crispy. Yes, definitely. So I do have some 
put that on top of my stove. And I'm gonna grab my toast. See, it didn't take very long at all for those to get crispy on top. Just be careful, because they are gonna be very hot. Perfect. So you wanna take um, the avocado and spread it onto the toast. And again, I used two avocados for this just because I had some smaller avocados, but you probably could just use one, or if you do use two, you can reuse um, some of that um, guacamole for something else if you need to. Maybe make some um, homemade guacamole with the rest of your avocado. So I'm gonna spread this on. I did wash my hands beforehand. I know avocado toast um, is pretty popular these days, and I haven't personally had avocado toast, um, but I know a lot of people that like it. And let me know if you if there's something else you think that you could use maybe in place of avocados. I know some people don't like avocados, um, and I haven't really thought about something else that could be used but I'm sure we can come up with something yummy. Great, and so I just have one more toast to cover. And this um, serve is a serving of four, so you could half this recipe if you don't wanna make as much, um, or double it depending on how many people you have. Um, so I am going to need to use another avocado. Luckily, I cut that open already. So what do you think of this recipe so far? I promise you it is very yummy. Okay, perfect. So I bet you know what's gonna come next after putting the avocado on, our sardines. So you can leave this mixture out for anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour. Um, so if you wanted um, to take a little bit extra time for the marinade to set, um, you could marinate the sardines up to an hour if you wanted to. Just plan um, maybe 15 minutes before you decide to use the sardines in your recipe um, to take them to get your toast started. So I'm going to put these just right on top of the toast. And smash it down with my fork. And again, sardines are high in omega-3 fatty acids. Um, the dietary guidelines do recommend that you eat um, up to eight ounces of seafood, or at least eight ounces of seafood a week, um, and a variety of seafood. So if you've been watching our other seafood videos, I'm sure you've already learned a lot of great recipes that you can try to get your seafood intake in every week. Okay, I'm gonna have a little bit of sardines I think left over, which I think is okay. And I could always top a little bit more if I want to. There we go. A little bit that I got on the counter. Okay, right, perfect. So you can use um, the rest of the parsley that you didn't use to sprinkle some more on top. And if you cut up your lemon, of course I put my knife in the sink. 
So we'll get another knife. So if you cut up your lemon, Because I'm not a lemon. You can squeeze some lemon onto that as well. And if you'd like, you can add a little, just a tiny bit of salt. I'm not really a salt person, so I don't use a lot of added salt in my food, but you can if you want to. And so here is sardines and avocados on toast. Let me know what you think when you try it. And I hope you will try this recipe on your own. Thanks for joining me today.